Well, I'm back at uh, Pedra Holkin in North Wales and back at the uh, Haunted Cemetery. You can just see the entrance to it there, it's the gate. Now then, today I'll be doing a, a little investigation, ghost or paranormal investigation. Uh, my first visit, I just basically had a, a bit of a wander around and I did get quite a few experiences. So I'm back today with a few bits and pieces. Obviously got a video camera, got a still camera, temperature sensor, um, an ERD meter, voice recorder. So I'm going to do a little paranormal investigation. So let's get going. Okay, uh, before I actually enter the cemetery, the last time I visited, I don't know if you've seen the video, but my face heated up. So I'm actually outside the cemetery now. And what I'm gonna do is just take a reading off my face and see if, you know, when I enter the cemetery, if my face does heat up, I'll take another reading to see if it is, you know, is, is my skin actually physically heating up. So just take a reading of that. And it's 27, can you see that I think? 27, just check it again. Yeah, 27, see that there? So when I get inside um, and if, my, if I sense that my face is heating up, I'll take another reading. So let's get inside the cemetery. Uh, it's not a bad day today, it's a slightly breezy, but uh, it's uh, quite bright. As soon as I enter, there's a strange smell. Um, something, I don't know, not quite tell what it is. I'm to, and I can feel my face uh, go in now, I don't turn around. Last time you could actually see my face going red, but it's not quite, I can just feel it slightly warming up. But I can feel my heart rate is increasing. I can feel a bit of uh, tension in my, in my chest. My breathing has gone all, gone all wobbly. I don't know if you can, hear that it's very weird I can feel a bit of weakness in my legs which I never felt last time I feel my face warm slightly but it's not getting any warmer just take a, uh, a reading 27 it's dead on 27 see that so my face is not physically heating up anyway less of me waffling on. Now then I'm making my way to the top left, um, which is where I felt the most presence. And that's when my face was really boiling and also I had an experience. I felt exactly like there's someone standing behind me. I can feel now that there's someone following me. I expect to turn around and see someone standing behind me. I feel my face warming up. It is getting hotter as I'm heading towards this top left part here. It smells gone again now. It's only down there for some reason as you enter. Um, anyway, my breathing is a bit, uh, I can feel tension in my chest, I can feel my legs going weak. 23, it's actually dropped, just make sure that I actually got that on my face. Now 27. I must have been uh, aiming off a bit. But I can feel my face warm, but not hot like last time. 
Okay, I have not moved position. I've just uh, got my meter out and I'll switch it on now and just see if... Uh, Get anything on it. Ground's quite soft as usual, it, although we have had a lot of rain recently. And then this part where I'm in now, I'm getting a lot of it's really strong sensation that I'm being followed or watched or whatever. It's very, very strange. My face is not warming up. There's nothing on the meter. It's not warming up anymore, I should say. It feels like it's, uh, you know, warm but not hot like last time. Make my way through here. Try my best not to stand on any graves, but it's very difficult. You see some of them are hidden in the, uh, the undergrowth here. Nothing on the meter. But I've got a really, really strong sensation here now that I'm being watched. Not so much being followed. But I'm being watched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speak Welsh. I can't speak a lot of Welsh, but I know you know a few words. Like, but um, oh, that sound you heard was a branch scraping against my uh, bag. Yeah, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to say good morning, how are you, and it's a nice day. See if I get anything on the meter or see if I experience anything. Borada Stuchy My Brav, have you? Nothing. Stuchy Dow, my Brav Borada No, nothing at all. Good morning. How are you? Is there anybody watching me? Is there anybody here? Is there anybody in this graveyard that wants to make contact? I can feel my face warming up a bit more than what it was before. But last time well, last time, the first time I visited, my face was absolutely boiling. But it's not as hot, but it is, it's warmed up a bit since I started uh, talking, you know, asking things. Uh, how are you? Is there anybody here? Is there anybody that wants to make contact? Make a noise? Sign? Anything. Okay. Oh, hang on. I was just going to switch that off then. Make a sign. Turned it down there. It, uh, the actual, I don't know if the camera picked it up. The alarm went off, it was a high reading. And the camera, so I've got it right close to the camera. It's, the camera doesn't affect, doesn't affect it. Borada! Is anybody here that wants to make contact? Do it now. Make, make that light flash again on this box that I'm holding in my hand. Go on, I know you can do it. You've just done it before then. Go on, do it again. I hope that's the uh, it was in shot, but you could hear the probably the camera heard the alarm. It does bleep when you get a high reading. Go on, do it again. Borada Sadahi. Is there anybody here? 
Anyone that wants to make contact with me now. I can feel my legs going weak. A bit shaky. The breathing's come to itself now. But funny, I was just saying um, with this ERD, I was just going to switch it off. I was say there's nothing on this. And my finger went to the to the button and the alarm went off on it. I think it was re the region was about 118, something like that. Come on, make contact now. Now is your chance. Feel my face warming up. Right, no one's going to make contact. I'll try it again. I think I'll switch this off. Yeah, look. Go on, do it again. Go on. Go on, make, make the alarm go off again. I know you want to make contact. Ah. I think I'll switch this off now. Shall I switch it off? Go on, do it again. No, it's not going to do it. That's what happened last time when I said I was going to switch it off. Come on. Make contact now. Now is your chance. What a da! Dow, my brave, have you? Sticky! Like I say, I'm just saying good morning, how are you? And it's a nice day and whatever, but. Uh... Right, I think I'll switch this off now because there's nothing, no one wants to make contact with me. So I'll turn this off. Should I turn it off or not? Or do you want one more, one more chance, I think? One more chance to make contact. Go on. Make the alarm go off on it, on it again. All gone quiet at the moment. Sudaki. Is there anybody here now? Come on, this is your last chance to make contact with me now. Otherwise, I'll switch this box off. Shall I switch it off? Yeah, I think I'll switch it off now. No, it's not happening now. My face is constantly uh, just warm, shall I say. Um, my breathing's come back to normal. Um, just uh, spin this round, I'm not sure if I'm being shot, um, but uh, yeah, my face is just warm. But last time I was here, it was like as if, as if I was in front of a heater. It was like a blast furnace. But anyway, a bit of movement on the uh, ERD, but uh, all gone quiet now. And it is in this area here that I'm feeling the most that I am being watched that someone is with me. Right, one more chance and I'm going to put this away now. One more chance for you to make contact with me. Go on, make the, the alarm light flash on it again. I know you did it, you've done it twice. Do it again, one, one more, one more chance. And then I'm going to switch this off. Come on, it's a dumber. Come on, to dumber. That means I'm saying, come on. Go on, make it flash again. I know you can do it. Because you've done it twice now. Do it a third time. Otherwise, I'll switch it off and put it back in my bag. Go on. Three. Two. One. Now. That's all gone quiet now. Huh? Right, I'll just flick this off. Yeah, look. As soon as they go to say I'm going to switch it off. Go on. Go on, do it. Go on, do it again. That's five times now. Otherwise, I'm going to switch it off. I'll, I'll go on. 220 that time. Bloody hell, that was high. Go on. One more time. Go on, really. Really do it now. Go on. Three. Two, one, now! 
That was 220, that's like the highest I've had on it. What did I say, 117 or 170? Go on, I'm going to switch this off now. I'm going to switch it off. As soon as I go to save, I'm going to switch it off. And that's just data hold. And it's getting a reading. All that button does is just, it just locks the reading. And that's the off power button. You know, if you can... Go on. Go on. And again. Well, some pretty uh, interesting stuff on this. Go on. One more time. Otherwise, I'm going to switch this thing off. Look, my thumb's going over the button. I'm going to turn it off. Right, so what I'm going to do now is actually switch it off. And I'll switch it back on again. See what will happen. Right, I'm switching it off now. See, all that red button does is just the on-off button. And that's data hold. So, something is obviously... Well, trying to make contact with this ERD, but uh, my face is, is warm, warmer than what it was. I'll take a reading in a minute, but uh, I'm going to switch this back on now and see what'll happen. I'm going to stay in this area. Uh, right, switch it on. Now, when I switch this on, it will bleep a bit until it calms down. I want, I want you to make that, that light flash again. You've done it loads of times now. I'm going to switch it on now. Right. Make it flash. Go on. It's a demo. Make it flash. Go on. Otherwise, I'm going to switch it off. I'll turn it off. Anyway. Let's just put this... Uh, anyway, I'll just switch this off for a second. I'll put this ERD meter away. I'll just take a temperature reading off my face. Okay, um, some interesting stuff on the ERD there. Um, now then, I haven't moved from the area. My face feels warm, not hot like it was last time. It was warm when I first entered the cemetery, but it's got a bit warmer, but it's, I wouldn't say exactly hot. Um, and my legs, I, I can feel weakness in my legs. Um, my breathing's okay now, my chest has come to itself. So I'll take a read in and see what we got 27 so right what I'm going to do now I set up a voice recorder I'm going to leave the uh, cemetery for about 10 minutes I'll go back to the car I'll set up a voice recorder in this this area and like I say leave it for a good 10 minutes to see if that gets anything so that's what I'll do now okay I'm uh, back in the car now um, let the uh, voice recorder sit there for I'll give it a good 10 minutes and just for the record you can see I'm actually in the car and that's the only way in to the uh, cemetery it's through them gates there you can see part of it in the background there but yeah just for the record I'll sit here now for a good 10 minutes and uh, you know if someone else goes in the cemetery well I'll go in and get my voice recorder but uh, yeah, I'll give it a good 10 minutes. Well, it's had, well, 11 minutes actually. And like I said earlier, I'm outside. Uh, that's the only way in and no one has entered the cemetery. I've sat here on my own. So I'll pop back now and uh, get the voice recorder. Okay, back to uh, pick up the voice recorder. making my way around. There is a direct route but it does mean walking over some greys which I don't want to do that. Which I said earlier is a bit difficult really. It's very very muddy too. The ground is uh, normally uh, soft but uh, oh my god. Oh now then, um, on the earlier footage, shit, my bloody heart's racing here. Um, at least the uh, recorder's still going, but look, I'm 
99% sure that wasn't there when I set up the, re the recorder. Oh shit. I'll just check the. Uh... Yep, the recorder's. Uh... Switch it. Switch it off. Um, and it's still recording. Back in my bag. Jeez. Uh, I'm going to look back on the footage. Obviously, um, I think I filmed the whole of this top of this tomb. I'm going to leave it here for a good 10 minutes. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that rock wasn't there. Just put this flannel away. Bloody hell. I'm bloody positive that wasn't there. I would have noticed that. Holy shit. And the recorder was still going to. So hopefully um, I'll play back that Whatever it's hopefully it's picked something up. Bloody hell. <sighs> I'm positive that bloody rock wasn't there. Well, actually. Not so much a well, it is a rock, I suppose. It's see the size of it. it's not exactly a small stone. See the size of it there, it's next to my hand. It's not warm, is it? It's not exactly cold, but it's not warm. Bloody hell. Anyway, hopefully, um, I sh what I should have done is well. I was mainly, I just wanted to, uh, you know, just set up the recorder. But if I had a camera, a locked off camera. Bloody hell. At least the, the recorder was okay anyway. Was something trying to stop that voice recorder? Bloody hell. Anyway, it was still recording. So hopefully it's picked something up. That, I'm bloody 99.9, .9, I would have seen it. You know, I, I hopefully I did film the whole the top of this tomb thing, but I've just I've just seen that rock there. Oh, the hell. Anyway, I think I'll conclude this. Uh, bloody hell, my hands shaking. Um, this investigation. I get back in. I will. Um, go through the footage and hopefully go through that recording that has got to make a noise or hopefully it's made a noise anyway but anyway yeah I'll uh, end this I'll just get back to the car I've actually got a still camera I'll just have a quick wander around um, and take some stills and hopefully this time the uh, battery won't die on me as soon as I got up to this spot on my first video, bloody rock. That that's bloody got to me. That has. Um, yeah. As soon as I got to this spot, the battery's packed in. I actually had the camera switched on. Um, I, I wasn't looking at it. I was just holding it in my hand by my side, just to take some shots. And. Uh, it was going, did, 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 you know, like they do. And I looked, battery low, and it just shut off. And there were fresh batteries, too. So anyway, yeah, I'm getting a bit of a headache now. Face is still warm. Well, it's warmed up. Got a bit of a headache. I think it's that's got to me. Yeah, so anyway, I'll conclude this investigation now. So... Thanks for joining me on my little investigation, a few interesting paranormal experiences. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. That's me signing out from 
the Haunted Cemetery in Pentraholkin, North Wales. Amazing place. Right, this is uh, just a, something that happened uh, when I was um, when I popped back in the cemetery to uh, take some stills. Got my still camera. Now then, fresh batteries, fresh alkalines. I usually get, well, you know, you can take what, 50, 60, 100 or whatever. Um, I just started taking photos. I uh, got to about three or four. And the battery indicator started dying on it. Um, got to about six, seven, eight, ten or whatever. And the battery indicator do, 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 was going down. I don't know how many, how many I've taken, probably about 20, something like that. And the batteries failed on it. Fresh batteries. And that's what happened last time. Um, I actually had it switched on, like I said earlier in the video, and it's on my first video as well. Um, got halfway up the cemetery, and you know, before I even started taking photos, it just bang, batteries went dead on it. But like I say, I've only taken what 20 photos on a fresh set of batteries, so something's going on. <laughs> 